Hello, this is Beth Green, otherwise known as Granny Rocks. And uh, tonight's topic on GROW is seeing each other's face makes all the difference. I see beauty, pain, and strength, and I want to say thank you. And I have a lot to share about this. I don't know if anyone is going to be interested, but I don't care. I want to talk about it anyway. So before we get into the show, I'm going to introduce you to sweet baby James, who's going to introduce our show tonight. So welcome once again to Granny Rocks Our World. And uh, this is taking place every Monday and Wednesday, 6.30 p.m. Pacific, where Granny will each time share her wit, her wisdom, and her very uncommon sense. So Granny, take it away. Hi there. Well, first of all, let's say hello to Erica, who has said hello to us. She said it's good to see us. Uh, well, we like the sound of that. So um, there's a huge happening over here at GROW and at Dreams of Peace, uh, our Facebook page. Uh, and I want to talk to you about that. And as I said, I really don't know if anybody else is going to be interested or if everyone's going to just like go away. But I don't care. I feel compelled yes. and impelled to talk about this. So I think it's a big deal. I do, too. It's a phenomenon. Well, it isn't the phenomenon. The phenomenon is the internal phenomenon. Well, let me talk about the external phenomenon first. So we've been doing, Amy says, hi, SBJ and Granny, love you, too. Love well, you we too. love you, too. Oh, oh, is it a T-W-O? So that makes us even. We're both, too. Um, so we've been doing a new live stream on Thursday evenings at 7 p.m. Pacific time called Dreams of Peace, where I play the piano. And we are now doing Grow twice a week, Mondays and Wednesdays at 6.30. And we, you know, that's where I talk. And what has happened is in about the, the, the last couple of weeks, we started boosting Dreams of Peace worldwide because we figured you don't have to speak English, right? You don't have to be in the U.S., to hear the piano. So, James, why are you moving that? That's that's fine. I see you're just fine. Okay. So, yeah, but it could make our, our, our viewers seasick. So, <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Um, so, I want to talk about that for a minute. First, in terms of the externals. But then I want to talk to you about what this has meant to me and how it has changed me. So, hang on to your hat. First of all, our watchership, or whatever that is, is like the listenership. Viewership. Is viewership has gone up amazingly. Like last, uh, maybe in the past when we did grow, we would get 20 likes, maybe 30 likes. Well, now we're getting 100 likes, 150 likes. And it's going all around the world. And Dreams of Peace is getting well over 200 likes. But more than that, we're getting these beautiful comments and we're having people like our page and people are sharing. And I'm sitting there thinking, how could this be happening? I just don't believe it. I'm thinking, yeah, yeah, they're just sitting there clicking like because, you know, that's what they do. They have nothing else to do after all. You know what I mean? And we are talking about Algeria to Venezuela uh, to Ethiopia, Myanmar. to Myanmar, to India. Uh, a lot of people in China. India, and yes, China. I mean, everywhere, Europe, let's not forget Europe, it's in there a little bit, but there. of course, but there's a lot more people in uh, uh, India than there are uh, probably in Germany. So uh, Todd said, hi, Beth and James, hello, Todd, goes, glad to see you. So. This has had the most profound impact on me. We, the, Our last Dreams of Peace has already been shared 51 times. That can't just be people clicking like, right? That must mean They're something. They're sharing with others. They're they sharing like with others. And it's things are growing, and I feel all this energy. And I think, I never thought about this before. I never thought to boost worldwide. Christine said, hi, XO, which means I now know love and kisses, and I'm sending that back. Well, I think that as much as I don't want to admit it, I think that I've tended to think very narrowly. 
like we are Americans, even though I hate that America first stuff, you know, it's like, <laughs> oh, please, whites first, men first, I don't know, heterosexuals first, America first, Europe first, what, you know, whatever. You know, it's like ridiculous. I know that in my head. But when I started to look at these likes and these people sharing and all of that, I look at every face. Sometimes they give you information about where they're coming from. This is from Georgia. I don't mean Georgia, U.S. I mean Georgia and the uh, Romania. A woman writes to me and she's always sends the most loving messages after everything that I do, you know, telling me how much I help her to feel joyful and happy and to bring peace into her life. And, um, you know, we've seen this a lot that, uh, that I'm, people say that I'm bringing peace to them. Arie says, hi, Beth and James. Lovely. Hi, Arie. And so I'm thinking, oh, wow, I'm helping them, right? And I, be I believe it, that something must be happening. But when I think about it, with them responding, oh, Debbie says, hi, you both, never a dull moment, love all your posts. That means you're going to watch this, even though I was afraid nobody's going to be interested in the topic. But we've got Debbie out there. <laughs> so thank you. So every one of these people, every like, every share, I do my best to see something about that person. I click on them, even though my hand is hurting. You know what I mean? Because I don't have the physical capacity to just click without having. But I look at it and I look into the faces, into the eyes of the people, and it just makes me want to cry. It's like I, I realize that I've always been afraid to look at the third world because I'm always afraid of the pain. I'm afraid of the poverty. I'm, I'm afraid to go to India. You know, and we have so many people from India, Pakistan, Today, the nicest thing happened. A guy, a principal from a Christian school in Pakistan, a Christian arts school in Pakistan, wrote to me and asked me if I'd be willing to offer a class to his students on the piano. And of course I'm going to do it. I'm so thrilled. And all of a sudden, instead of being afraid to connect to these people, I'm feeling like I want to. Like, oh, my God. And Elizabeth said, hello, Beth and James, and we're saying hello, Elizabeth. So, you know, it's not just that they're saying nice things to me, which, of course, is extremely important, right? But it's more than that, is that I'm beginning to see them. I see them with pictures around them, like us. It's on Facebook, right? You see their family sometimes, if they have one. Or one guy was a Syrian refugee in Lebanon, you know, who talked about the pain that he experiences. He said he cries every night, but that... Um, you know, my music helped him. And it's not just the music. It's, as I say, our spoken videos. I don't know how much people understand. They, but they feel something is coming from me. Some love is coming from me. And I feel, you know, that love is coming from them. And suddenly, these people are real. They are real. I, I'm, it's embarrassing to admit this. It's, it's like when you don't want to look at homeless people because you don't want to see their pain. So I was afraid. Now, of course, there are right-wing fanatics who are anti-Semitic and anti-Muslim and anti-gay and anti, you know, oneness and all that. And, you know, you have to look at their faces, too. When you, what do you see? You see a lot of pain. So first, I'm seeing a lot of beauty. I mean, a lot of beauty. This, these, oh, my God, some of the people, when you see their faces and the youth from you know, Nepal, and I mean, it's just beautiful people, uh, and Ghana, and uh, uh, Ethiopia, and uh, Mexico, by the way, <laughs> you see these beautiful faces with these distinctively different looks, and you see their beauty, but you also see their pain. You know, some people wear their pain on the outside, and you can see it. And if you look deeply in their faces, you can see that they're not having an easy time. But some of them are probably happier than Americans who are so wrapped up in money and stress and trying to get ahead and don't have much time. Did you read that recently? 
that the work week in this country and in the West is much longer than it was at any time in the history of humanity except during the Industrial Revolution. I can't remember if I said that last time. Erica says, no, I don't how, think you did. Uh, how impactful. I will send my love with you. Thank Wonderful. you. You're going to send your love to these people through me. Is that what you're saying? Yes. And so it's not just the beauty and it's not just the pain, but I also see the strength. You know, you see people living under difficult circumstances, some of them, and they have their strength. I shouldn't be afraid to look because there is strength everywhere. There is beauty everywhere. There is kindness everywhere. Of course, every once in a while, you're going to bump into someone who's going to be sending a, you know, hate. But I have not gotten a single, thank you, Erica. Erica said yes, so she clarified that that's what she meant, that she will be sending her love as I send my love to all these people. And I do. And I do. And so sometimes you see people who are in so much pain that their faces have been distorted. And it's also true in the U.S. Hey, believe me, I love it when I see you like from Arkansas or from, you know, Denver or anywhere. Alabama. You know, Alabama, Los Angeles, New York City. You know what I mean? I love that, too. Uh, but this is just bringing me out into a different level of relationship with the world. And... You know, I talked about how we have to make compromises, something like I don't like Facebook, but I have to use it because you're there. Well, I want to say thank you to Facebook because without the Facebook, I would not know all these people whose names are absolutely unpronounceable <laughs> to me. And uh, I just love it that Facebook will translate a lot of the messages that people write to me in whatever language Facebook will translate it. And we're getting posts on our page of people sending love and thanking me. I'm just so moved. Well, we're expanding that sense of oneness that we talk about. Exactly. I mean, there's a lot of differentiation, but yes. we're all one humanity, one family. And exactly. Why not expand our horizons to encompass all people? Now, many of you have done this before, and you're way ahead of me. And that's okay. I don't mind if you're way ahead of me, but I'm catching up. I, I am catching up. And so I see strength everywhere. And I'm so grateful. I mean, there are children on Facebook overseas who are sending me likes and loves. Yeah. And of course, there's us old people and there's old people too. And people try to reach out to me. They write in English. You know, even when they're struggling. Actually, I wish that they would write in their own language so Facebook could translate it because sometimes I need a <laughs> translation of what they've said. But you can see them there with their hearts. They're reaching out. And you know what also staggers me, guys? You know, with our history of being aligned with imperialism and colonialism, it is amazing that people are still willing to bring love and give love to an American. In fact, they... they Many of them are happy to see kindness. Someone actually said that to me in a message. You know, we need a, a, a person from Venezuela saying, you know, we need kindness. You know, we are so busy looking at regimes. We're so looking, uh, busy looking at civil wars. We're so lo busy looking at disasters. We're not looking at people. Those are people. They're real people. And they are struggling. You know, when we much, much like us, much like us up and and when we just slap tariffs on that is going to disrupt the industry of people, more and more people will suffer because of our thoughtless, selfish attitude towards the world. America is not first. People aren't first. The planet is first. The planet is. Todd says, you are so right. We are not looking at real people. Thank yeah. you, Todd, for, for sharing that. Yeah, they're just out there in the abstract, you know? Exactly. Now we're connecting person to person. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. And I answer every comment. It's becoming a full-time job. <laughs> 
And you know, another thing that's going to be a full-time job is we better raise some money so <laughs> that we can continue doing this post down. I'm trying to figure out how to raise money. <laughs> if you know anybody who wants to send dreams of peace and beautiful piano music, you know, into the internet to help people. Oh my God, I see Eam. Hello, hi, Beth and James, how are you? He's hello, one of our hello. new friends. He's one of our new friends from Facebook. And also, I've seen a like, oh, three, uh, a like, two likes and a love Another from, one from, uh, from Abraham. more of our yeah. uh, Abram and uh, Abram, no, Abramo and Robert B. Mm -hmm. I don't say last names. Mm -hmm. I cannot tell you what this means to me. I feel like I have new life pumped into this old body, <laughs> into this pained body that I really am seriously looking for a patron for our music, for our, uh, our outreach. Our outreach many patrons little patrons five dollar patrons i don't have any way for you to actually make a donation on facebook yet but i'm looking into it uh <laughs> you know you can write to me uh message me if you know anybody and i don't never want anybody who can't afford it to give me one penny you know i don't want to be you know sucking up money from poor people that is for darn sure but you know, if people have it and they want to, you can just message me and say, how am I going to send you money? This is so important, but it's not just important to me. It's obviously important to the people that we are reaching who need to feel loved, too, yeah. and need to see another face of the U.S. other than what they are seeing, because we are not the only ones who care. On the contrary, there are so many people out there who care. So many Americans who care, so many non-Americans who care, black people, Asian people, Samoans. I mean, it's just amazing. People who care, people who are still keeping love alive on this planet despite everything. And I want to thank every one of you from the bottom of my heart. And I want to thank sweet baby James, who is my co-conspirator here. I want to thank every one of you who has kept this show going, and I want to thank Facebook. Yes, the dastardly Facebook <laughs> for giving me the opportunity to see you, to see your face, for you to become real to me, and for us to be real to you. So until, what's today? Monday? Till Wednesday. Til Wednesday. Bye-bye, and don't forget Dreams of Peace on Thursday at 7 p.m. And keep sharing, keep sharing, keep sharing, keep sharing, and keep liking, and keep commenting, and keep that generosity of spirit alive, no matter how bad things get. Yes. Bye-bye for now. See bye -bye. you next time.